My name is Sue Wong, and I'm a fashion designer based here in Los Angeles, in glamorous old Hollywood, as a matter of fact. I was born in a remote little village in rural China, right into the Maoist regime. And when I was five and a half years old, my mother and I made our big escape. I grew up the daughter of struggling immigrants. There was no money in the family budget for toys, so I basically made my own toys. I drew my own paper dolls, and I would really design lavish wardrobes for them. And that was my escape and my fantasy. That was probably the nucleus or the beginning of my fashion design career. My mantra is beauty, magic, transformation. And I think I live by that mantra because I live for beauty. You know, I'm an artist, so beauty is really paramount and rules my life. I consider my lifestyle, everything I do and the way I live is really art. My art is my life. My life is my art. I transform a woman when she has on a Su Wong creation into the quintessential goddess so that she is really connected with that ultimate divine energy. I myself pay homage to three patron goddesses. The first one is Aphrodite, whose temple I worship and bow down to every single day. The second patron goddess that I pay homage to is the goddess of the hunt. She is the one who really propels me towards achievement and accomplishment into the world. And then the third patron goddess that I pay homage to is the goddess Athena. Because you can have great success, you can really have be a great accomplished artist in life, but if you do not really have the wisdom to really guide you, then all of that is for naught. You can really see my love for modernism reflected in my studio environment. I design probably more than 1,500 designs per year. I know it's a very staggering amount, but I actually create gowns for 12 deliveries a year to my stores and to my clients, such as Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, Bloomingdale's, I mean, Nordstrom's, I sell to all of them. I really am not a trend-driven designer. I just really design beautiful gowns that really hold up to the test of time. As far as my creative process is concerned, I just sit down and I discipline myself and I really put pen on paper and everything comes out. What distinguishes my gowns from others in the market is the hand-wrought couture embellishments that I'm famous for. And to me, there is nothing like the imperfect beauty of the human hand that is still really beautiful. And if you dissect the Su Wong look, what that look is all about is high glamour, you know, style, uber, ultra femininity. My designs are also synonymous with old Hollywood glamour. So there's a lot of art deco sensibilities in my motifs, my beaded patterns and that sort of thing. I must say that I was really born a creator and I just love to create. For that new designer starting off, my advice is this. Be prepared to really roll up your sleeves and go to work in a very hard way. Because if you really want to follow your bliss, Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss. And I certainly followed my bliss and I'm living my bliss. But it didn't take me two minutes to get here. It was a process that took over 40 years. And I was willing to really work hard and put in sacrifice as well to really achieve my dreams. 